Welcome back to Good Morning Boss. Alam niyo ba mga boss, hindi talaga makakaila ang halaga ng siyensya at teknolohiya lalo na kung gusto natin umunlad ang ating bansa. Kaya naman ngayong umaga na kung mapalad tayo dahil makikilala natin ang dalawang outstanding young scientists. Chef, let us all welcome Mr. Glenn Banaguas and Dr. Richard Lemense. Good morning. Welcome to Good Morning Boss. Magandang umaga. Yeah, All right, magkakaroon ng 36th uh, annual scientific uh, meeting ito ng NAST or National Academy of Science and Technology at kayo po ay sa kayong dalawa ay a-awardan bilang outstanding young scientists. So ano bang nararamdaman niyo at part kayo na event na ito? <laughs> Actually masaya kasi medyo para sa aming mga scientists medyo mahirap talagang makuha itong award na to. Mm -hmm. Lalo, lalo na na may, mayroon tong age limit actually. Yes. <laughs> Kailangan namin makuha ito bago kami makaabot ng 41 years. So old. alam na na bata pa. <laughs> oh, below 40 young years scientist. Old. Oh, young scientist. At it's really very hard to be, you know, to be to be part of it. Yes. Kasi sabi ka malaki raw yung pinagdaanan, mahirap yung pinagdaanan kasi aside from the age, I think NAS uh, considered uh, our contributions not only to the science technology but of course to the society. And of course, maraming uh, qualifications at process para mapabilang nga dyan. And speaking of your contributions, ano ba yung mga contributions nyo sa kanya-kanila mga field para masabi at naging basihan ng NASD para ma-awardan kayo? Well, ako yung bali parang outstanding young scientist in the field of mathematics this year. Mm -hmm. Well, probably because medyo sa, sa mathematics ngayon, like, meron tayong tatlong school. May analysis, may algebra, at saka geometry. Ako, mahina ako sa mga. Kaya ako ng publication arts. Marami okay. na nag research sa Pilipinas in mm -hmm. algebra, in analysis, pero medyo parang na matagal na tayo talagang walang nag research sa geometry. And mm -hmm. probably, ako ay pinalad. Nung ako ay nag-decide na mag-PhD sa Japan, uh, ang pinili kong field ay geometry kasi na-inspire ako na parang kailangan nga ng Pilipinas ang isang matematisya na nag-research yes. sa geometry. At I'm doing actually researches on differential geometry. So maka... <laughs> Ito actually ang pag-aaral lang ng geometry. Alam naman natin lahat, lahat tayo alam ng geometry. Pero... Third year high school. <laughs> tama, tama. Pero medyo in-elevate na ng konti. Okay. So parang pinasukan namin ng differential and integral calculus, linear algebra and multilinear algebra ang pag-aaral ng geometry. So, i-implement ba natin ito sa mga students in time? Or anong plans natin? Well, special... Sa, sa implementation siguro ng mga sudyante sa Pilipinas, medyo parang, baka siguro pag K-12 na oh, tayo. Oo, hindi in oh, pwede siguro. Kasi importante rin talaga ang, ang differential geometry. Kasi ito ay somewhat related to physics. Alright. Sa akin, Rivard, um, outstanding young science is in the field of environmental management. So all the things that we have been doing are really are really related to climate change, mm -hmm. disasters, natural anthropogenic disasters. So yung mga ginagawa namin sa De La Salle Araneta University, kasi De La Salle Araneta University is really for uh, flagship programs niya, veterinary medicine and agricultural sector. And yung mga ginagawa, we see to it na aside from the technical modeling, aside from the technical modeling, we see to it that there is a social impact on the research. So mm -hmm. ang ginagawa namin, there is a heart on the things that we do. Ibig sabihin, dapat laging kasama yung tao. Kasi sa, sa mga researches natin ngayon, we, we, di ba, ibang mga research, mga ibang research institutions, yung mga research nila, parang nandun lang. It's mm. nakashelm siya. So yung ginagawa namin, we see to it that these researchers will always create positive impacts to the society, especially to the poorest and most vulnerable sector in the society, which is the sector. Okay, so yeah. ilan kayong awardees para dito sa NES? Well, basically, uh, well, taon-taon, ang maximum number of awardees ay 12. Kasi may anim, uh, I think that we have six divisions in in, uh, in Different NAS. fields rin yung Different categories. Agricultural yeah. sciences, biological sciences, uh, merong engineering, engineering mm -hmm. sciences, and technology, health science, health science social science, social science yeah. and my division, which is like uh, physical, chemical, and mathematical sciences. So this will be held on? Uh, this will be, yung awarding ceremony, it will be held on July, 8, uh, July 9 and 10. July 9. And 10, yung annual scientific meeting uh, sa PICC. Tapos yung July 8, nandun yung ano namin, yung parang outstanding young scientists. So there will be also a forum. forum so ano yes. mangyayari sa forum? Um, we don't, actually, it's a forum lahat ng mga outstanding young scientists. Uh, mm -hmm. Yung magsasama-sama. Mm -hmm. So, 
So baka i-discuss dun yung mga gagawin namin. Yung siguro yung mga field. So okay. definitely. It's, it's, it's and like for that. this uh, year's theme, ito yung infrastructure, information, and innovation for national development, competitiveness, and resiliency. So sa tingin nyo, itong tatlong eyes na ito, yung nabanggit Structure, Information, Innovation. Nasaan na ang Pilipinas ngayon? Uh, so Kailangan mo natin i-run. <laughs> Ayaw. This is ang ginagawa namin so in terms of innovation. Kasi we have a project. Uh, it's an uh, OML project, Oscar M. Lopez, uh, hmm. uh, Center for Climate Change Adaptation hmm. and Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Foundation Incorporated. So we're one of the first grantees. Mm -hmm. So we are developing flood detector system. And we're going to install these flood detector systems um, sa, in the municipality mm -hmm. of Panikipura and Ramos sa Tarlac. So I think that's part of the innovation. So, diba, we, lo we all know that these areas are really uh, vulnerable sa mga flooding. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a part of the innovation, siguro sa ng NA, uh, ng annual scientific meeting, yung, yung pag-develop ng, ng simple flood detector system na alam natin makaka, makakatulong sa mga kapatid natin magsasaka. But I, I think... Uh, in terms of like predicting the weather, yeah. ma malaki na ang improvement ng Pilipinas. We have the, the famous Project NOAA. Project, Project NOAA, most established. Yeah, yeah. Project NOAA ni Bahar. Yeah. Talagang marami Correct. na tayong projects na um, talagang product din ng science and technology na tumutulong naman sa pag-unlan ng Pilipinas. Yes. All right, siguro, tayo ba kayong mga advices or mensahe dun sa mga katulad din yung nag-aaspire, magkatulad nyo? And of course, hindi biro mapabilang at uh, ma-award ang bilang outstanding ang scientists <laughs> diba, ng NAST. Sig advice, uh, one of our advice, siguro um, they have to think uh, what, they're, what they're going to contribute to the society. Mm -hmm. Kasi pinaka-importante yung gagawa, na hindi kailang gagawa na isang bagay na para sa'yo. Iisipin mo yung bagay na gagawin mo, yung makakaroon ng impact doon sa mga tao. Mm -hmm. So, yung katulad nga sinabi ko kanina, yung mga research na ginagawa namin, we see to it that it will always create positive impacts to the poor. Mm -hmm. So, yung mga farmers, mga fisher folks, yung mga, mga indigenous people, yung mga kapatid natin na mas nangangailangan ng tulong. Parang hindi ako sanay kasi... <laughs> ako, I mean, ako lagi yung nagtatanong because I have uh, like a radio program. Merong DCUP sa loob ng UP Diliman Campus and meron kaming actually a radio show every every Friday ng alas 4, which is sensya na kayo. And normally at the end of the, the program, program, ako yung nagtatanong doon sa guest namin. Na, na, kung ano ba mabibigay na advice sa mga aspiring... Actually... Parang kailangan lang talaga is gusto mo yung ginagawa mo. Na hindi yung parang pinilit ka na ito lang gawin mo. Yes. Alam mo kaya mo yung gagawin mong field. So kung gusto mo maging uh, physicist, gusto mo ang physics. Kung gusto mo maging chemist, gusto mo ang chemistry. Kung gusto mo talagang gumawa ng research sa mathematics o iba mang uh, field of science, kailangan mo talagang gusto mo yung gagawin mo. Alright, siguro bukod dun sa mga research ninyo na nagawa na, meron pa ba mga dapat abangan yung mga viewers namin sa inyo? Like mga projects, any upcoming projects or programs na sinusuportahan nyo na para makatulong din in terms of science and technology sa ating bansa? Uh, meron kaming gagawin projects sa, sa, sa Eastern sa, uh, sa, sa, sa Visayas, mm -hmm. yung mga naapekto kang lugar ng, uh, ng, ng, ng Super Typhoon Yolanda. Mm -hmm. So ang target namin, it will be funded by Commission on Higher Education. So it's a project. So ang target namin doon yung mga uh, 42 HEIs, higher education institutions. So uh, kailangan namin maka makapagbigay ng tulong kung paano, how they're going to what, how they're going to to be, you know, to, to apply CCA and DRM schemes mm -hmm. on those areas. Okay. So, ako naman, kasi yung isang field na ginagawa ko is tawag na bioinformatics. Yung specifically phylogenetics. Yung parang uh, meron ka lang isang tree, nakikita mo yung relationship ng ng kung ano man, mga hayop, mga halaman. Pero actually, yung, isa, yung project na uh, kakapropose pa lang namin ay yung parang gusto namin makita yung evolution mm. ng Philippine languages and dialects. Okay. So, at least pumapasok na ang math in terms yeah, of... Yan naman ang math. <laughs> <laughs> Masyado daw kami ma-em. Kaya medyo masyado. Pag ganing sa math, nakatingin na ito. <laughs> Alright, at syempre, uh, naway magsilbi kayo inspirasyon sa lahat ng mga kabataan ngayon. And of course, mabuhay po kayong dalawa. And congratulations in advance. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Alright, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That was Mr. Glenn Banagos and Dr. Richard Limense.